Hello everyone, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the wedding of Hope Logan and Liam Spencer. It's finally happening. Hope and Liam's long-awaited wedding. Sorry you can't be there. I'm sorry my son and I are estranged. I always want Liam to be happy. And Hope makes him happy. So did Steffi. Not like Hope. Anyway, that's over. Hope is Liam's future, which is how it would have been all along had I not interfered. But all's well that ends well. Hope and Liam are finally reuniting. And what about Steffi? Steffi will be with me. Liam should be here with our child and me. His marriage to Hope shouldn't be happening. No, I know. Brooke's practically pushing them down the aisle. Based on a lie that I'm involved with Bill when I'm not. I want nothing to do with him. Sweetheart, what are you thinking? I don't know. Maybe I should just go over there and get Liam to rethink what he's doing. I know the chaos is going to cause, but I just can't let this lie take Liam away from me and my little girl. I can't let that happen, Mom. Sweetheart, your father and I both believe that you and Liam have been manipulated. You've seen Dad? Well, no one really knows I'm in town and I kind of want to keep it that way, but we, we've talked. And, and we both really believe that Bill is behind this lie. Only I can't prove it. Mom, I asked Bill, but he denied it. Look, if the circumstances weren't what they are, we just have to be careful with Bill, Mom. I know, I know, or he'll call the police and tell them that I shot him. Oh, gosh, your whole future is in jeopardy because of something I did. It's okay, it's okay. No, no, none of this is okay. None of it. And it always goes back to Bill Spencer. I know you don't want to hear this. But oh joy, lucky me, I get to hear it anyway. Steffi has been and still remains totally committed to Liam. I believe you're forgetting that evening in the guest oh, house. Oh, come on. And anyway, once Hope and Liam are married. No, if Hope and Liam are married, there's still the possibility that Wyatt might crack. He won't. And if he does, and the truth comes out, that you were the cause and the manipulation of this whole thing, you gotta understand what that means, man. Because any chance you thought you had with Steffi, is shot to hell. We are gathered here to celebrate a very special couple. Hope, with your pure, sweet heart and compassionate ways. Liam, so kind, so decent, who values honesty above all else. I spoke with both of them, and it's obvious how much they love each other, how committed they are to one another's happiness and well being. With all that going for them, and a lot more, I think it's a safe bet that these two will share many years of wedded bliss together. Mom, please, please calm Bill down. Bill Spencer, he, he can't be trusted any more than Brooke Logan can. Brooke Forrester, Mom. 
She and Dad are married. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Right. You would think that she would be satisfied that Ridge is hers now after she destroyed my marriage to your father. But no, that is not enough. No, she wants to make sure that her daughter is married to the father of my daughter's baby. <gasps> she is still a shameless manipulator. Just like Bill. To be at that wedding as his brother's best man, knowing what you did, break up Liam and the mother of his child. I mean, do you honestly think that Wyatt is just gonna stand there and not say anything? Absolutely. Because despite what his conscience might be telling him, his ambition is telling him something else. Namely, how much he has to lose if he doesn't keep his mouth shut. And I'm not just talking about a car or a painting hanging in his office. I'm talking about this company and everything that goes with it something Wyatt's had his eye on from day one. He's not gonna risk losing that. Not when keeping his yap shut gets him everything he's ever dreamed of. Love is patient, love is kind. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes. Let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. And may your unconditional love and devotion take you places where you both only dream. Thank you, Rick and Maya, for the beautiful reading. I've got one more thing I want to say. I just want to tell you how much I love you, my little sister, and how happy I am that you and Liam found your way back to each other. I can't think of two people who belong together more. Unless, of course, it's my amazing wife. <laughs> Hope and Liam have also asked the matron of honor and the best man to speak. Brooke? <laughs> My beautiful, sweet, smart daughter. My heart is so, it's so full today. I just look at you standing there in your, my, well, your, <laughs> your wedding dress and you're so, so radiant and I know that has a lot to do with this guy over here so thank you Liam for keeping my daughter so happy and I welcome you into the family once again <laughs> my daughter's never been happier than she was when she was with you and never sadder when she wasn't that's because you're the love of her life to make a really good couple. You have the same virtues, love, commitment, and you deserve to be together. Now, I know I keep talking about this, about Ridge and me, <laughs> and our love life, and our relationship together, and how much we were meant to be together, our destiny. Well, that's what you guys have to. Those forces that made you find your way back to each other where you belong. I just love you so much, both of you. <laughs> and I'm so happy for you, and I wish you so much love and so much light and no stress, no stress, yeah. no drama <laughs> whatsoever in your lives, okay? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You're up, best man. <laughs> Talk about a tough act to follow. <laughs> Just wish Liam would have waited. If he had, I honestly believe the closer we got to Kelly being born. Kelly? Is that, is that the name you picked for the baby? Yeah, I asked Liam if we could name our child after his mother. I like it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm sure Liam's touched that you would name the baby after his mother. That's exactly what he said. Of course, it shows him how much you love him, too. 
and how you'll always be connected through that baby. I just regret hurting him. Not only did I let Liam down, I let our little girl down too. You are a fighter, sweetheart. You've never given up on Liam and your family. And I know you're not going to now. You do realize this is all on you. Oh, please, come again. Wyatt will be none the wiser if he hadn't overheard you shooting your mouth off right here in my office. Yeah, but there'd be nothing about me shooting my mouth off right here in this office if you hadn't manipulated the whole situation oh, and making Wyatt think come that you on. and Stephanie would have That plan was perfect. Pure freaking genius. Oh, yeah, right. Like giving him your vintage sports car and then the little painting to keep quiet. Oh, wow, that was really genius. Exactly. Because it accomplished what I needed it to accomplish. No, 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 no. You can't be sure of that. Wyatt hates what he did to his older brother. What Wyatt did was reunite his brother with his sweet, innocent hope. What the hell is the harm in that? Okay, well, let's ask Steffi. I guarantee she has a different opinion of that. Okay, so, um, I suppose there's a lot I could say. Probably a lot I should say, but I'm, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Um... My brother doesn't know this, but uh, in a lot of ways, he's become my hero. Someone I've grown to look up to and wish that I could be more like sometimes. You know, Car Carter brought up how much you value honesty and, and how it helps you make uh, the choices that you make, even, even the difficult ones. And you, you, always, you always tend to do the right thing. And I don't always do that. And I should. Um, look, I'm, I'm honored to be your best man. But frankly, I just, I don't, I don't feel worthy of it. And though, I want you to know that as unpredictable as life can be sometimes, um, your love for her and her love for you is a constant. And that's something that you guys can both count on no matter what. Thank you, Wyatt. Very moving. And now for the, va no, wait, wait. I almost forgot the speak now question. <laughs> if anyone here has just cause why these two cannot be lawfully joined in matrimony, let them speak or forever hold their peace. Look, we tried to fight it, Wyatt. We couldn't. Steffi and I are here today. I set up the little fake intimate scene here in the office. That was wrong. Steffi is totally committed to Liam. You used one son to break up the other brother's marriage so you could have Steffi all for yourself. This is all a lie? A setup? You made me believe that you two were still having an affair, and then what did I do? I went over there, and I told him all about it, and I broke his heart. Dad and Steffi are, are still together. I split them up. I did that. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? You're my son. You remain loyal, and all of this will be yours eventually. From the time you showed up in my life, you've been my favorite son. You're the best, best man I could possibly ask for. There's no one I trust more to stand up there next to me. Actually, you and my bride are about the only two people in the world I can count on at this point. There's no one I trust more to stand up there next to me. All right, since no one objects. I'm sorry, I gotta talk to you. All right, now. Liam, I need to talk to you now.
I'm not giving up, Mom. I love Liam way too much. I love my family too much. But somehow, some way, I need to accept what's going on today. I'm gonna be the best mother to Kelly. And she's gonna have two loving parents. Yes, of course she has, sweetheart. I realize I made a terrible mistake. But I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna find joy in, in my work. I'm gonna find joy in my daughter and my life. But after today, things are gonna be different once Hope and Liam are married. What's going on? Um, I, I don't know. What could be so important that Wyatt would interrupt the ceremony? Do you know anything about this? I'm in the dark as much as you are. What the hell is Wyatt thinking stopping the wedding? You're gonna have to ask him. I will. I know, Rick. Whatever this is, let Wyatt and Liam talk it out. No, hey. Wyatt's right. Let him figure it out. Honey, don't worry. You and Liam have waited a long time to be married. So a couple more minutes isn't gonna matter, okay? Wyatt, what the hell are you doing dragging me up here in the middle of my wedding? I, I know, I know, but there's just something I need to tell you. So tell me after the ceremony, dude. It, it can't wait, Liam. What can't wait? What can't wait? What? Yeah, okay, I'm going back uh, down. Dad and Steffi. <laughs> Dad, Dad and Steffi. What about Dad and Steffi? Their ongoing affair. The, the, everything that I saw in the office that night, Everything that I told why? you. Why, dude, why are you bringing that up right now? I have to, because you deserve okay. to know. All right, okay, listen, listen. I, I don't know what's going on with you or if you just like want more recognition, but I, it really means the world no. to me that you set me straight on that. It's just, I kind of have a bride waiting for me down there. So whatever oh. this is about, maybe you can just tell me later. It was a lie. What, what was a lie? What lie? What lie, Wyatt? I, um... I, I, I should have come to you sooner. Like, right when I found out. And, and I was going to. I really was. But... There, there was no ongoing affair. Bro, Steph, Steffi was only unfaithful the one time. What are you even talking about right Steffi, now, dude? That's what I'm talking about. She, she, she loves you and how much she's committed to you, how much she was committed to you the whole time. She and dad, like, that they, they were only unfaithful the one time. Everything that I told you, everything I saw in the office, it, it, it wasn't true. But that, that was dad, okay? I swear, that was dad. He used me, he manipulated me to come to you to end your marriage, to, to, to break up you and Steffi. That's what I'm talking about. He, he wanted you to believe that there was something going on, but there wasn't, there wasn't. It, it was a lie. Liam, it was, it was a lie. 